In this video, I'll break down how to add animated captions to your Instagram Reels in Final Cut Pro. Now, I won't be using any third-party plugin or any website. I'll be doing this completely natively in Final Cut Pro. Now, I will be using some of my transitions from my website, but you don't necessarily have to use those. You can just use the built-in transitions that you find in uh, Final Cut. So here's the clip that we're gonna use. All we're gonna do is we wanna select on this clip, and then you head over here to this option, scroll down until you find transcribed the caption so go ahead just click on that and now final cut is going to go ahead and completely like um, transcribe uh, this clip so as you can see you have the captions um, right here so you go ahead and play the video as you can see you have the captions right there now um, the unfortunate thing about this is you really can't animate these these aren't really actual like titles so what you want to do to actually fix that is let's go ahead and head over to this option we're gonna go ahead and just drag this down just so we can see everything a lot better. Actually, maybe we'll bring it up a little more. We, we kinda wanna see both the, uh, the actual like video clip and the actual like captions. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and play this video right here and kinda see what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and play this video. Looking for high quality Final Cut Pro plugins. So looking for high quality Final Cut Pro plugins and then and then we'll go ahead and that will be where the next caption happens. So what we wanna do is we wanna select on this and we wanna click on Control T. And that will basically bring up a title. So we can go ahead and just simply trim it. Now all we have to do is we have to copy the captions into the actual title. So it's a little time consuming, but it's just, it's just the best way to do it. So we select on this caption right here. See, now we can go ahead and just actually like go ahead and copy and paste this. So just copy and paste this and then put this into the actual like um, title layer. And now you can go through and really customize. Um, so this is looking for high quality plugins. And so go ahead and let's just bring this down. So we're gonna let's go ahead and play the video, make sure we have the right captions. So looking for high quality Final Cut Pro plugins. So looking for high quality Final Cut Pro plugins. So what we're gonna do is we wanna just delete the if so. So looking for high quality Final Cut Pro um, plugins. So now you can go through and really customize it. So we'll just type in um, plugins. And obviously we're gonna add like a question mark. And now we can go through and let's just um, bring this down. So there you go. Now actually, now we can go through and kind of like mess with the size. So let's say we want to change the font um, to something, I like flat brush, I think flat brush looks the best. So now we can go through and let's enable the uh, safe zones. So I would say, I mean obviously you don't 100% know exactly where all the you know, captions or where the, the description and the likes are, but usually you kind of keep it around this area. So we can go through and select this title and let's just drag the position down. So somewhere around here probably should be pretty good. You can go through and mess with it if you don't quite like that. So let's head over here and now we can go through and mess with a whole bunch of different stuff. So let's go to the face show and let's go ahead and change this color and, and change this text to like a yellow color or obviously whatever color uh, you prefer. So now you can go through and also add like a drop shadow, a glow or an outline if you want. Now actually what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use one of my plugins. So here to the effects panel, I'm gonna go to the ultimate bundle. And I'm gonna use the stroke effect. So if I scroll up until I find the stroke effect, I'm just gonna apply it onto the sexual like title effect. So now we can like mess with the actual like, outline. Again, you can go through and adjust this stuff too if you don't want to uh, purchase the plugin, but I just really like uh, the stroke plugin. So let's go ahead and change the outline to like a black color and we want to increase the width a little bit so there you go it says looking for high quality plugins so that's the first caption so if we go ahead and play it right here so let's see how it looks so looking for high quality final cut pro plugins so go ahead and let's just um, readjust the stuff. So looking for high quality, and then let's go ahead and, and backspace it. I forgot to put in a Final Cut Pro, so backspace it. Looking for high quality, and then let's go ahead and type in um, Final Cut uh, Pro. So I forgot to put in the Final Cut Pro, that's kind of important. So now let's go through and hit return. And now we can maybe decrease the size a little bit more. So there we go, now the caption is completely correct. So there we go, so now that's just, but once you kind of have the first one done, now you can go through and really copy and paste this. So now we don't do adjust the color and the stroke or the outline of all the text, so let's go ahead and play it. Looking for high quality Final Cut Pro plugins? So, th so then check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. Okay, so then that will be the next caption. And let's say, Let's place a marker just to kind of keep things organized. Now we're gonna go ahead and copy this and now we can just simply paste this title over here for the next caption and make sure, and let's go ahead and figure out what we want this one to say. So, if so, then check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. So let's go ahead, and this will be the caption. So let's go ahead and type in, if so, 
then check out my website, um, winkinsmedia.com. So obviously, you know, the captions aren't gonna be perfect, but this is just a lot easier doing it this way, winkinsmedia.com. So now we can go through and just copy this one. So copy it and then put it over here into this title. And now, because we already have the color, the stroke on the effect already applied, just copy and paste it and there you go. And now you can just simply adjust it to get it the look you want. We want to decrease the size. So if so, then check out my website, wingensmedia.com. So let's play and see what it looks like now. So looking for high quality Final Cut Pro plugins, if so, then check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. And there you go. And now you can go ahead and just keep on repeating those same steps for all of them. And now once you have all the captions um, created, we can go ahead and just simply delete these because we don't want these showing. So then we delete them and now we can disable the uh, safe zone. So there we go. And that should be right now. You can go through and, and, and make sure everything is right. The spelling is right. Or maybe you missed a word. So I, I, I would do that first, create all the captions and go through and kind of like double check the spelling or, or again, make sure you didn't forget anything. So let's play it right here. Again, so looking, looking for high quality oh. Final Cut Pro plugins. If so, then check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. Wink so there we go, and we had the captions. Now to actually go about um, animating them, we can head over here to the titles section, and now you can apply any of the built-in um, uh, title animations, or in this case, I'm gonna use one of my um, whip pan transitions. So simply either use one of my transitions or one of the built-in transitions, and then just drag it in between your titles, and there you go, now you have a transition applied to your title that way the, the actual like um, captions are animated so I'm gonna go ahead and select on this transition and hold down the command key and then click on control D and let's set these maybe to like 15 um, frames just so that the animation happens um, a lot faster and there you go that's now you can just you know, repeat those steps now if you have more titles apply more transitions so let's go through and play this video again looking for high quality Final Cut Pro plugins if so then check out my website winkinsmedia.com I guess in this example let's go ahead and just delete the first one because it actually affects the video layer and let's just keep uh, this one that way the, that way when you play the video the caption will just immediately pop on so now let's go ahead and play it again see how that looks so looking for high quality Final Cut Pro plugins if so then check out my website winkinsmedia.com and there you go, that's how you add animated captions to your videos. So you can go through and keep repeating those steps and adding more titles and adding more transitions. It is a little time consuming, it's not completely automated, but I think in my opinion, it's worth doing it this way rather than using like a, another website or paying for a third party um, plugin. So you're gonna it's, gonna, it's not gonna be completely automated, but in the end, you're gonna be saving a lot of money. And in my opinion, it's definitely worth saving the extra money. Now, once you have all the captions you know, animated, what I would recommend doing is selecting the titles and the, and the transitions. So just select everything and click on option G and just type in, you know, name it whatever you want. So we'll just name it captions. So basically that way it's all inside of a compound clip, just so again, it'll, it'll keep things a lot more organized. So I would recommend doing that once you have all the captions finished and all the titles applied to it again, it's just gonna make your life a lot easier. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're looking to purchase any of the plugins that I used in my videos, or any of the other plugins you want, transitions, overlays, then go ahead and check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. Link is down in the description below. See you in the next one. Peace.